Okay, it's a 15 and 0. Let's attack the pawn here. And develop the bishop nice and small. So that we can castle on the king side. Nothing too fancy. Next step is maybe just, you know, getting the bishop out, attacking their bishop. Getting the knight out. So nothing too grand at this moment in time. Opponents taking a bit of a breather, probably looking for a tactical solution, looking for the quick win. And we're going to capture. Queen is down, maybe looking to put pressure here. That's where bishop's gone now, so they're not looking for the quick and dirty tactic thing. Unless, of course, now they're looking to sort of maybe get the knight in somehow. But that looks... Looks like it might take a while. Our king's got company at the moment. Bishop's got the diagonal, which is a, can be a bit annoying in the later part of the game, if we allow it to be. So I'm going to continue with the pawn push, like we said. Then look to challenge the bishop, keeping it all simple. If the bishop does take, then we have a discovery with the rook through to the queen eventually. So it's all pretty steady is this opening at the moment. Like we said, are they thinking of getting the knight here? Small, smaller piece attacking a higher piece. I don't need to overthink that. And a smaller piece attacking a higher piece again. So it looks like the bishop is coming off the board. So not overthinking any of that. I'm just going to push this pawn now to maybe start harassing this um, rook. Get the knight across. So nothing major. Now they're trying to um, unbalance the equation. Could push the pawn or we could take, because he's got double pawns here at the minute, should we just keep them doubled? Let's keep them doubled just to be annoying. I'm going to bring the knight across now. So they're probably chomping at the bit. We're, we're chomping at the bit to maybe potentially get the rooks here and start powering up here. But we can always change our mind if there's something better such as the king. So I was expecting a deep thing here at this point. If we go out there, we're blocking things down. So maybe the knight wants to come here just to attack this pawn. Again, just to be a bit annoying. It gives us time to do that manoeuvre. Uh, so we're attacking two pawns. This one's got no protection at the moment. So does a knight come and protect, such as this knight here? So trying to give them things to think about. He's not. Yes, he has. He's brought this knight here. Sorry, I was just about to say he's not protected that um, pawn. So what's the next stage thing? We were looking at touching onto this pawn here. We could do that now that we've got the knight here. So we might as well continue with that because we were looking at doubling up the rooks weren't we but seeing as the knight is here he might decide oh well i'm going to attack your knight we can take his knight can take bishop can take not forgetting and we do have line of sight with the bishop x-raying through so again playing as black in the eyes of the order of the lot. Ooh, shall we take with the rook? And um, if we take with the rook, if we take with the rook, his rook takes, our knight takes, his rook comes, owns the file. So take with the knight, because the knight is attacking this pawn here. Queen is protecting our rook. Their queen currently is not in the game, which is a good thing for us. So do they bring their rook now to defend this pawn? So our knight can go anywhere, well not go anywhere, but can come back here and attack their rook. OK, 
Okay, didn't see that. Um, but like I said, we can move the knight anyway. So we were going to move the knight. Would have liked the pawn for free, but hey, what can you do? Can't have everything. Could come here, attacking their knight. Their knight takes, pawn takes, pawn is on their knight. Pawn is unhappy, moves, but then the rook would be taking. Interesting, let's, let's follow that one a minute. Knight attacks their knight. It doesn't have to take because he's got support here. So then the rook takes the rook. Queen takes the rook. Knight takes. Pawn takes. Knight comes around to attack the pawn. Queen can come up to defend the pawn. Is it a little bit sticky? Let's give it a go. It might not. That was like a, was it a four move? Might have been a three move. Oh, they've gone for it. All right. So we'll take, we're on the knight. If the knight's jumping here, it's blocking their rook. So we'll get the rook for free. So you think they're going to take first. Because it's on our queen. So then we come here. Then maybe they go there and we're in that position that we talked about earlier. Yep. So he's taking first and then he's going to attack, blocking his rook. But I'm not, not sure how much of an advantage it is, but we can defend the pawn for a brief moment. But does their queen come in? Yeah, it's probably the queen's going to come back. So the waters might be might be murky. Let's go here. Maybe the queen is not on a dark square at the minute, but comes back here to put a 2-1-1 on, on, on the pawn. And our dark square bishop can't really come and defend or help. So I think they are going to win the pawn. They're going to be a pawn up, yeah. So the queen's coming across. It's going to get to this square. Do I need to get my rook up? Oh, that's the only thing I can think. Bringing the rook here and facing the queen because the queen's wanting to come here. Yeah. So the queen is going to take the pawn anyway. Ah. Yeah, so we go here. Attacking the queen. Queen takes. It's on our queen. Yeah, so it's going to be a pawn up anyway. Might have been a little bit fancy and arty there, dude. Although it didn't feel too arty. Maybe there's something. It's just because our dark square bishop's not in the game at the minute. And this pawn is blocking. So we pushed here. No. Nope. Boom, boom, boom. Can't get rid of this pawn. Continue. He takes... Hmm. Feels like a puzzle, doesn't it? I don't think there's a... Could just let the pawn go. And come back. But either way, he still gets the pawn. Hmm. Better position. Queen takes, queen comes here, queen takes, rook takes, rook's on this pawn. Do you know, I'm going to give that a try. I'm going to give it a try. There might be method in the madness here. Or I might just be complicating a simplified situation. So not forget, we go here. We don't have to take, obviously, so that's where the complication could come in. One, two, three. So I could actually even block, couldn't I? So if he takes, I could even block with the rook. And have a two on one on the night. I could come tap, but then he can got a two on one on the night, but then he can just simply just bring his queen down so he's got like two pieces protecting. Yeah, let's go with the queen thing. 
So we're on the pawn knight goes here, but we can take it. They might not fall for that type of thing. They might just bring the rook here, protecting the queen. Whoa, steady on. She's so coming for a back ranker. So that's um, easily dealt with, isn't it? Just move the pawn up. Do we manage this or not? Is he still going to be able to come back here and defend? It's come further down. Did he just grab a pawn then? Greedy munching queen. Oh, it's come for the bishop. Let's go here. Every move means something, doesn't it? But he's gone further away from protecting his king, Gary. So potentially we're going to get the 2 on 1. But he's probably going to move his, no, his knight can't move because it's going to get taken. Or does he come back again? To save the day. Greedy munching queen would take this pawn here. Is this going to be a game of the greedy munching queen? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. That's what we want you to do. We want to do this. Can he come back and save the day? Not on the white square, he can't. Like they've gone into the tank on this one. Ooh. Gone into a deep tank. Do you think they're seeing this, or you know what is the deal? Coming back here is the sense of well, in my head, that's what I would fear them coming here. Then we go there, then they've got time. So they've got two pieces defending the, the knight. So that would be the option because the knight don't look like, yeah, look at that. It's like they can hear me. It's like they can hear me. Yeah, unbelievable. Damn. So what I need to do is I need to be hitting this queen. But if I hit the queen, he comes back. Then we can hit his um, knight. Yeah, then if he takes this, then the queen can take. But if we do that in the wrong order, so boom. Say they do take. I don't think they will take. They'll probably go here. Which gives us a little bit more... Wait, we can bring the bishop here and attack the queen again. So it's kind of, it's not forced because it can go here now with this queen. But it does bring our bishop a little bit more into, oh, nice situation here. Oh, so if we did go like this and it ignored it and went there, then we could come here. And we've got like three pieces attacking. He's got three pieces defending. Which is interesting. It's three pieces defending, so we're going to have to go there. 
then what does he do from there? His knight is probably going to come out because he's got protection from his queen, but we do have two pieces there. But if he did take, yeah, so if he does take, say if he took the bishop because it's for free, then we went here attacking the knight. He could do something just to get the queen away, such as this. But then we could take his rook with a check. And then take the knight, but then his queen takes the pawn with a check on our king. So that doesn't feel too nice, does it? There, if they do take, we go here. Knight gets funky. Rook takes, king takes. Can't even go like this. Oh, could do go like that. Could do that. Queen puts a check on the king because the knight can't go there because the king will be there. Puts a check on the king, the king. Oh, king goes here though, defends the knight. Ooh. Yeah, so we would have lost the piece. Based on that type of reckoning. Alright, so if we go here. Queen comes back to defend. Bring the bishop. Still, why am I? I still like it. <laughs> I think they're not going to take, but um, takes. I'll go here first. Then he has to make a decision. He goes there. Bring the bishop here. It's something. Let's do that. I think we need to just get the bishop in the game. Start putting some pressure here. But it's not clear at all because he's got all these pieces that are able to defend the area. It's moved the knight. It's moved the knight. We didn't have that in our... That kind of makes it better for us, does it? Rook takes with a check. Although we're giving up a piece for a piece, aren't we? If we just bring the bishop here. Bishop attacks the queen. Queen takes. Queen takes. And we're still protecting the pawn. King can't go back. So putting a check here, he has to come here. It's on a white square. Come on, dark square bishop, get in the game. Up here. Put the check on. Put the check on. King goes there. Get the bishop here. I'll get the bishop here first. Oh, this knight's going to do something. Gladly it can't go here. It can go there. Come on, bishop. Attack the queen. Queen takes. Queen takes. Queen puts a check on. King comes here. Queen puts a check on. King goes to safety. Hmm. I don't think there's any use of this bishop being here, apart from maybe putting the check here like this. Am I fast enough? Check. I don't think this bit is slow. It's going to give them some. We're looking to do this, but the knight's just going to move, so the queen's defending the area. So it's a bit slow. 
queen, queen, queen. So we can just jump up and down with a check maybe. Because we know the knight's moving so the queen can defend. There's nowhere else for the dark square bishop to go. Could block and... Mm -hmm. We're trying, we're trying. So the knight does move, like we said, it's protecting this area. So we could put a check on. And he's just going to bounce maybe down here. No, he's not going to go there because we'll get checkmate. So he's going to bounce back. But then we get the knight. So he's going to go here. So then the bishop could go. But then obviously the queen can take there. Yeah, so he, it, that doesn't work either. So it looks like it could end up being a drawn position. Check. Goes back. Because he's not going to leave the knight because we'll be able to take the knight with the queen. <sighs> Comfortable with a draw if it is a draw, so long as we don't mess it up and lose the the draw level. If there's a win, there's a win, but I, I think he can just bounce up and down with his king here. Our bishop doesn't really have much strength. I don't think we have any other checks on him either, that's the issue. Once he goes back, what else do we have? Yeah. I mean, we can take the pawn here. But it's not a check on the king, and does he have a check on us? He's got these pawns as well that he's going to be ramping down. So we're going to take this pawn. Maybe we can get this with a check on the king. He blocks it, I suppose. So he might, might be looking to do an exchange because they're still plus one. And it looks like we're going to be grabbing more pawns. But if he goes for the exchange, let's not forget we have the stealth bishop here. Yeah, it's going for it. So I'm going to take the pawn. I'm not going to take the queen. I'm going to take the pawn with the check. So at least we're even Stevens on the on the pieces. But he does have two linked pawns against one pawn here, which might might cause us an issue. Queen can come here putting a check on. But because we're even Stevens, we could take. It's just like we said, he does have pawn majority here. We have pawn majority on this side. But our king is going to have to come shooting over here to protect these, isn't it? Queen check. King moves. I don't think that check's any good, really. I think just taking... And then maybe go for a draw, eh? Queen takes... Queen up, king down. Oh no, he's not going to go for draw because if we're going to be wasting our time doing that, we go there, he goes here, we drop down, see, and then he hides here. And I suppose we can go here with a check, then his queen comes here. Um, I think we can. Our king, I think our king might be fast enough to come over here. And sort these pawns out. Because it's a bit of a clever move, that really. Because the pawn's going to be here. We do have a pawn majority. Mm. Let's take. I think we need to move the king first. Get it across here. Get it across. If we can. Should have probably pushed this pawn. To stop this one jumping down. I think I'm too late to the party. Let's push this. Ooh, Zugzwang, not again. Let's push this, supporting the pawn. Let's push this one. Gonna run out of moves. 
but it might be advantageous for us on this side of the board if they do any. Ooh, maybe not. Push. So he has to move his king. But his king can come down here. Oh, yeah, his king can come here in the gap. Oh, sad times. Damn it. So we're going to have to, yeah, we've, I think we've lost this one because he's got more pawn majority. We have this pawn push here with the check on the king. Maybe that might win us a bit of something. Bit of movement. Uh, yes, okay, let's give that a try. Because he can still push this, we have to take. Now we have a passed pawn, which the king really has to kind of babysit. So if he goes behind that pawn, oh, time's running out. Let's move the king. He has to keep dancing in front of the pawn now. So we could, in theory, just keep coming across here, looking to try and get this pawn. If he, if he keeps dancing in front of the pawn. If he does that, we should get a queen. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to come across. Not saying it's going to work. It's 53 seconds. Don't think I'm going to make it. I've forgotten. Has this got an increment on or not? Don't think it has, has it? I better check. It's got zero increment on, hasn't it? Yeah, so don't do any preemptives because he may just jump here and we might miss the opportunity to push. So with zero increments, I don't think I can. <laughs> Still have to do the end game stuff. Right, wait for them to move before we move. Don't want to fall foul of missing the opportunity of pushing. Focus, focus. I think I've spent a little bit too much narrating, time narrating. I totally forgot about the time. That's what happens when you're enjoying the games, though. You know, you get into them. So their time's running down a little bit now. Let's grab. If we can get at least two pass pawns and get two promoted, then we can do step ladder and job done. Or even better if they resign. Oh, there we go. Lovely game. 